What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Hip Parade plus Metal Hockey three box mixer just sold out. This is a three random teams each break number one. And again, I got a chance, a chance at pretty big hits. So the Emerald Edition is a very nice one. It's a new series that just came out from 22 23. There's some of the bigger sell sheet hits there, potentially. So they usually put one of these in every case. So uh, there is a chance at something big like this. And again, we have two boxes of Skybox Metal that just released not too long ago. And then a box of Hip Parade. Ten total spots. Uh, there actually was two combo teams. I updated it for number two, but it was Blue Jackets, Vegas, and then we added uh, Yotes and Kraken. Yotes have like the least amount of hits potentially, and uh, hip and uh, Skybox. Seattle Kraken have a pretty good amount, so I think it matches up pretty evenly. So here's the dice roller, customer name. So again, we're gonna triple up your names, of course, because it is a three random teams break. So there's one, two, three. That should make thirty. And then that should be 30 teams there in a two as well now. So let's click dice roll. Roll it. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times Kev. Down to Kev. Uh, Costco is pretty much strawless now too. They changed their lids like a year ago. It's it's a genius. I mean, I I rather it just to have that little opening, kind of like the way uh, Costco does it too. And you don't need to have a straw anymore. Four and four eight the hard way. Eight here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Eight times. Eight, eight. Ducks down to the Sabres. All right, so Kev, you have the Ducks. Steve Birch with the Blues. Raymond with the Rangers. Sean Maddock with the Capitals. Steve Birch with the Islanders. D-Lo with the Flames. Steve Birch with the Yotes Kraken combo. D-Lo with the Devils. Sean Maddock with the Panthers. Raymond with the Sharks. D-Lo with the Jets. Steve Birch with the Blue Jackets. Vegas Golden Knights combo. Uh, Birch with the Lightning. Senators. Bruins. Canadians. Kev with the Preds. Steve Birch with the Avalanche. Matt Buckler with the Flyers. Steve Birch with the Hurricanes. Raymond with the Oilers. Or, sorry, Red Wings. Steve Birch with the Oilers. Sean Maddock with the Blackhawks. Matt Buckler with my Kings and the Stars. Steve Birch with the Canucks, Penguins, Wild, Leafs, and then Kev with the Buffalo Sabres. So again, guys, it's one repack, pro uh, one repack product, so of course every team is featured, so there is an opportunity for everybody. Some teams hit more than others, of course, but like Hip Parade. And then Skybox Metal, of course, is uh, you know fairly new product. It is last year's draft class, not this year's, and obviously they held back a couple of players, so I think Quentin Byfield's a pretty big one, Trevor Zegras uh, for the... Um, the uh, Anaheim Ducks, so I want to say that that's the class because at this point I don't even know no more because we're already in 22 23 and we haven't even got Cup Hockey 2021. So <laughs> I, I feel like I get lost with classes now, but I want to say that that's uh, the same class there. Let me double check it now because I'm curious now. Yes, this is 21-22, so Quinn Byfield is, is obviously the number two overall pick a couple years ago. Well, I mean, like I said, Rex, the Costco ones are strong enough. I mean, unless you're just an awkward and... and uh, Not awkward, but if you're just a... a uh, Butterfingers type of person that just, you know, just randomly just spills all over themselves all the time, then you should be fine. But I'm sure they can create a lid that uh, will prevent from people to having a spill on them. I mean, like I said, Costco's lids, they're cheap as hell, but it gets the job done. It blocks the ice just enough. So it's like a little one of those ones that just, like I said, you just like kind of with your tongue or your lips, you tilt it back into the cup, 
blocks the ice from hitting your teeth in your mouth, and then, like I said, you just drink it. Obviously, the Starbucks ones are a little different. They have, like, the full, like, you know, thicker lid that, like, just has the, the uh, you know, uh, the hole in it, so that way you could just, uh, you know, sip your drink, but... Costco's is like the cheapest ones, but it does the job. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's uh, let's do this. TWC. So we got a trade. Matt Buckler's Devils are now his. Um, who did you trade again? Dallas Stars? What up, Gilo? How you doing, buddy? All right, one trade. Uh, Dallas Stars, Gilo has now. Devils, Matt Buckler has now. No worries, man. I was watching. I was watching film. Like if I'm a freaking coach last night, I was watching film of the Eagles 49ers game last year, and and then watching obviously 49ers playoff game against the Cowboys, and then the Eagles playoff game against the Giants last night. <laughs> I just love my Eagles too much. <clears throat> I literally was though. There was a couple chances last year when the Eagles played the 49ers. Like I said, Jalen Hurts was still kind of developing and obviously getting into that offense. It was only week two. But there was a couple chances, man. They, they could have easily won that game, too. Obviously, Rager stepping out of bounds, not scoring that touchdown was brutal. You know, them not converting after like a 96 yard catch or whatever from Quez Watkins. You know, there was, there was chances for sure. And like I said, the majority of the 49ers defense that was there last year is pretty much there this year. Minus a few players that I don't think made a crazy impact. So. Hey, okay, guys. The 49ers, to beat the, the blueprint to beat the 49ers was there with the Cowboys. Their defense played phenomenal against them. They did enough to win that game. Just Dak Prescott didn't play good enough. And the offense. Purdy could easily have like three interceptions, but they were dropped. Now, granted, Dak Prescott could have had like five, but the blueprint is there. Up Kucherov, and these cards have been backwards sometimes, but they're not really numbered or nothing. Cole Caulfield, very nice. And look at that, Seattle Kraken autograph, Cole Lind. Not numbered, Seattle Kraken. That's the combo team going to Steve Birch. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I, and I think the Eagles are going to get a lot of pressure on Purdy. And I think their run game is going to get stopped, so it's going to be really on Purdy to really make plays, which, you know, he has and he can. He's capable, but just feel like, you know, I think the Eagles should, should be able to do, do well against them. I, the Eagles' blueprint is kind of simple, too. It's crazy to say this. It sounds a little cocky, but I'm not a cocky person, so you guys know that. But the blueprint to, make, to beat the Eagles is really just make them commit turnovers. It's usually the Eagles just committing turnovers themselves that kill the game for them, you know? Because they're just so stacked up so nicely across the offense and defense that it's kind of them killing themselves more than anything, you know? But Jalen Hurts, obviously, this year hasn't really made too many mistakes, so I think that's why they're also winning. Their offense is loaded, limiting mistakes. A lot of those games that they lost were basically interception after interception or fumble after fumble. And This is a little mini... I, I like to think of it as a huge guitar pick. <laughs> Metal Universe picks Connor McDavid. But I still think it's going to be a close competitive game. Because obviously 49ers got some playmakers. And if they step up and do well, then there's going to be a problem. But I'm pretty confident going into it. I still will be nervous, though. <laughs> As I always will be. <clears throat> but I think uh, they got a good shot. Artem Panarin. Where is this that you're looking at that again? Is that on YouTube, you said? And a Planet Metal, Mark Giordano. Yeah, it's crazy, man. The way, like, analysts and people break down film, whether you're watching on NFL Network, ESPN, whatever the case may be, it's crazy because, like, <laughs> like if you were still kind of clueless, let's just say if you're a coach on, how, like you can go look at these guys on TV and get tips and hints on how to beat a team. If you're like still trying to figure out what's the best way, you know, you guys want you got you want to get like opinions, right? So like, I wonder, I, I truly wonder if there's head coaches out there or coaching staffs out there that'll go listen to like a Dan Orlovsky or go listen to a Steve Mariucci you know, on all of these channels because they kind of also show you the blueprints to potentially beat a specific team minus the own game film, you know, that they get, that they acquire. So it's kind of funny. Like, I I wonder if, I wonder if coaches actually do that. Like, all right, let's see what this guy's doing. Let's see what this guy's talking about. All 22 review. All right, I'll watch that tonight. The one thing I know that was working on Daniel Jones is kind of like the stunts. You know, obviously uh, having Hassan Reddick on the edge, you know, stunting and, and then curling into the inside. Obviously blitzing and, like you said, dropping back DNs and, and coverage. PMG. Usually if you don't hit an auto, you do usually get a PMG. So I thought I seen a PMG in here. Kaylin Addison. Gets left. Die cut for the Vegas Golden Knights. Planet Metal.
Alex Bari, Bolet. All right, we do have a PMG coming up. It's a red. And it's a Connor Hullabuck. PMG. For the Winnipeg Jets to 100. Winnipeg's going to d -Lo. Ah, yeah. Guys, the champions. The Cheddar. Yeah, that's just base cards. Shane Pinto. Carey Price. Quinn Byfield, so that's what a PMG would look like, but not a PMG, but we'll just leave it up. There's the Kings, Matt Buckler. He played great today again. Ice carvings, Andre Vasilevsky for the Lightning, Steve Birch. Had a really nice sweet assist on Kopitar's goal today. All right. You work too hard, Rex. You work too hard, man. I mean, granted, you did it to yourself, right? <laughs> you're like so close to work, you're like, eh, might as well work. My mom at the post office kind of did the same thing. She took her vacation, obviously, way later in her career, but um, if she got like four or five weeks off of vacation, she ended up like making an extra one up for the next year because she just ended up working because if she didn't have anything planned she might as well just work and a very nice Young Guns canvas of Igor Shosurkin graded a gem plus 9.5 and surface a 10 from 1920 Upper Deck very very nice I don't know if, I don't think that was a sell sheet was it no. Now, Rangers. Going to Raymond. Right? Did I look say that right? Yeah, New York Rangers, Raymond. So there you go, folks. So again, guys, it's a quick mixer. It's just two boxes of, of, P of uh, Skybox Metal and then a Hip Parade. Next one's in the store, guys. Number two, if you guys want to run it back for tomorrow. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.